Hello everybody, my name is Chad Kroll and today we're going to be installing a GitLab server on top of a uh, VM in Azure and we're going to be using CertBot to install a TLS certificate so we can access our GitLab server uh, using HTTPS. So let's get started. First we need to install the dependencies. So the dependencies are OpenSSH, CA certificates, and TZ data. TZ data is just uh, a package that contains the rules for various time zones around the world. And we'll clear the screen. And now we'll install uh, Postfix. Postfix is a SMTP server, which is a way for users to create an account and then have an email be sent to them to uh, activate their account. So we'll click on OK here. And the type of mail configuration is going to be a general internet site. And then we're going to plug in our domain name here, uh, gitlab.buildazurepipelines.com. And we'll click OK here. And that will set up Postfix and configure it with those settings that we just set. OK, let's clear the screen again. And now we're going to add the GitLab package to our repository. And then we'll uh, use the environment variable external URL equals, and then that same uh, URL that we entered into Postfix um, in order to add that into our configuration, our GitLab configuration, um, as well as, uh, or at the same time as, installing GitLab Community Edition. So basically, this is using Chef, which is a configuration management tool to install GitLab. So it's going through a number of playbooks in order to uh, install all of the requisite packages. All right, now that GitLab is installed, let's go ahead and clear the screen. And we'll go ahead and install CertBot so we can generate our TLS certificates. And we'll use Snap, which is usually installed by default on uh, Ubuntu machines. So we'll do sudo snap install and then classic. And let's clear the screen. And then we will go ahead and create a symlink from where the uh, package is in our Snap bin to our user bin. And here's how we're going to create the cert that we need using CertBot. So we'll use cert only, uh, which means that we, we only need the cert and nothing else. And then uh, we're going to choose manual. And the preferred challenge is going to be DNS. Uh, we'll put our email here. Please put your own, not mine. And then uh, we'll indicate our server here, which is going to be the Let's Encrypt server. So Let's Encrypt can generate our certificate for us. And then we'll agree to the terms of service. And then we'll include our domain name. So uh, in this case, I'll do star.buildazurepipelines.com. So this is a wildcard cert. So I'll answer yes to share my uh, email address with the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And then I'll press enter to uh, continue. Uh, but first, I will go ahead and copy the uh, underscore Acme challenge and add it to my DNS for my domain. So I'll go back to I'm using Azure for my DNS, and I'll add that in as a TXT record, and then I'll add the value that's also provided there. And click OK, and now that's added as a record. So now I can go back and hit Enter to continue. And then it says, congratulations, your certificate has been saved. And that's the location. Uh, that it saved it in, and that's important to remember because uh, just in a little bit here, we'll uh, specify that inside of our GitLab server so we can use that with GitLab. So let's clear the screen again, and we can open up the GitLab configuration file, which is located in Etsy GitLab, and it's just called gitlab.rb, and we can add our TLS certificates. So let's scroll down, and we see there's the external URL that we added at the beginning, um, along with the installation command. And now we'll, let's go ahead and just search SSL certificates. And there we go. There's the line that we need to uncomment. So we'll uncomment these two uh, first lines here, which indicate the certificate and their certificate key. So we're going to put them in the uh, directory Etsy Let's Encrypt 
live and then build azurepipelines.com and then fullchain.pem and uh, privkey.pem for the certificate key. And we'll save and quit. And here we need to add a record so that uh, when we go to gitlab.azurepipelines.com, um, it knows to go to that uh, public IP address of our Azure VM. So we'll plug in that public IP address there. And DNS may take a while to propagate, so this doesn't work on the first uh, time around. Just give it a couple hours or so. And every time we make a modification to this gitlab.rb file, we need to run a uh, GitLab CTL reconfigure, and that reloads our configuration to a certain extent. It's kind of like uh, modifying a system service. Um, you have to reconfigure it so those changes will apply. And as a result, the cookbook start up again, and that uh, chef uh, cookbook, um, I think I called it a playbook before, but that cookbook will run again, same as before. Okay, and then it'll say GitLab reconfigured, so we're all good. So now let's clear the screen again, and let's browse to our uh, URL that we set up, gitlab.buildazurepipelines.com. And there we go. Now we can log in as the root user for the first time, and there's our new GitLab server. And if you notice from the uh, top navigation bar there, we're using a certificate. Uh, which is trusted by the browser. So we don't have any complications there. And that's it. I hope this video was useful for you. Uh, leave a comment if it is, and give a like and subscribe. Thank you.